Hey, look, straight away, they're already watching the telly, fixated on the telly. Because you haven't given them what to do. No. Nope. Look at that. You tell him no, and he comes over, all right, what do you want from me? And that's the time you can give him fuss. But, I, you see she's beginning to get a bit fixated on TV. If I don't give her instructions now, she can come up with ways of amusing herself. All right, hold that for a second. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go around here. Bed. And bed means bed. Good. Bed, just repeat it, because again, they're used to just going, obviously, when I'm there, I go there. Obviously, we've been practicing for a while, so she hasn't actually gone into that. But you see, she's beginning to work out, can I, can I? See, she's looking. Looks away. Good. Let her know. Don't fuss her when she's fixating on the telly. Fuss her when she stops fixating on the telly. If you can sit there and she'll just... Right now, right now she's not allowed to, she hasn't been able to get herself worked up, so we're not seeing her charge at the telly. But that's because we put prevention in place, that's because we sent her to the bed. So she's not able to go to that level, right? So if she did go to that level, right now you've asked her to go to her bed. So if she gets off of her bed, no, straight back onto her bed, right? And if she starts to fixate, like, this is all right because she's not getting worked up, but if she starts going, <laughs> then you need to. <laughs> Bed. Then you need to start to address it. I have just a little, a little touch, or just tell her no. Yeah. But when she fixates on the telly, no. So looking. No, because we teach her. If you look at the telly and look away, good things happen. Looking. All we want is some sort of relaxation signal. And right now, I don't have to do anything. I can just let her figure it out for herself. If she was to start to escalate and get worked up, then I might start to address it to bring her back down. But right, good. Straight away. So you can fuss her all day long. I mean, you love to fuss your dogs, so this is a great time to fuss your dogs. Watch telly and fuss your dogs at the same time, but fuss them when you're teaching them something. When they look at something, they get nothing. But you also, because you sent them to the bed, you need to be able to move around. She's going to lay down in a second because she's starting to relax. Whereas before she'd be... Oh, yeah. Alert. And you don't bring an awful but right now, see how she's laying? She's in two minds between chasing the telly and going into relaxation mode. Yeah? Because we're teaching it. But for you guys, watching telly is probably stressful. You're probably worried about the pugs going through yeah. your telly. Yeah. You're, <laughs> you're probably no, selective about what you watch. I can't watch, I can't yeah. watch this, I can't watch this. I mean, but you've never actually taught her how to behave. It's just become a problem. A problem for her and a problem for you. But you haven't taught her that's a better way of behaving. Look, now she's just actively watching telly like a proper dog. She's never done that. I think she's out too much. Yeah, we usually watch this later, which is <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. But also, you want to be able to teach them, right? You have to remember, commands are implied. So bed means bed. So bed. So if you walk away, yeah, you walk away, bed, you want them to still be able to stay where you put them. Yeah? Then you can just come over. Good. Let them know that you're happy with what they've done. Bed. Just remind them. Sit back down. And now you've got two dogs watching Paul O'Grady for the love of dogs. God, that's never happened, does it? We end up so stressed. I mean, Brad's got bipolar, so he gets stressed anyway. But he's like, in the end, he's like, oh my God. No, no. But, it, it, but it's, it's no magic trick. I mean, this doesn't, I mean, obviously, dogs' animal programs are the worst for her. So it doesn't really matter what program it is, the rules are the same. If you send them somewhere, even though it's going there and doing nothing, it's still going there, chill out and relax. Which means not chasing the telly, not barking at the telly, not being neurotic. And you can do the same with them on the sofa. They don't have to be on their bed. If you want them on the sofa cuddling up to you and they start to do it, tell them no. 
This is just hold them. So they learn. All it is is just neurotic behaviours developed by the dog. Yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. But they've never been taught a different way of behaving. Little puppies, you laugh. Yeah. Look, look what she does when this comes yeah, up. Yeah, until it starts to become it damaging becomes, to the television or until... And, until you can't watch nothing. And until, a bit like kids, really. Yeah. You laugh when they're young and they're older, you're in a bad situation. I know, I know, I know I'm all, my own worst enemy, I know. But that is so much nicer. The thing is, and all with her, you get to a stage, Christ, I wouldn't harm them, my babies, but you get to a stage you dislike them. Yeah. Because you think, oh, I'll just go, you know. But it's very... You, it was created by you. Oh, gotcha. Not, not just you in particular, no, but everyone, everyone in the family. Yeah. So it's very unfair to get frustrated with them as a result. I understand why people do get frustrated. And generally, it's just lack of knowledge, lack of not knowing what to do to fix the situation. I mean, everybody's trying to do the best they can. I mean, I walk into the house, it's very obvious your dogs are loved and spoiled. <laughs> that much is very obvious. So like I said, I'd much rather walk into a house where dogs are loved and spoiled, oh, yeah, then... as opposed to walking into a house where I'm thinking, where the hell do the dogs play a part in this family. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're just lacking basic structure, what to do in certain situations. <laughs> but all I've done, yes, I have corrected her. I corrected her when she started to fixate on shadows. I corrected her when she's been neurotic. But that's the one thing she's actually missing. And if you look at it, she's not become afraid of me. She, if anything, she keeps looking at me for direction now. And the reason she's doing that is because it's almost like, thank you. Yeah. You, you come in and got rid of this stress. They, it's like the kids though, isn't it? The yeah. one, the strictest person, the children's got more respect for. <laughs> it is true though, the oh, strictest no, She's just watching telly. And I didn't see her charge the telly. I mean, the, I, I don't need to see her charge the telly. That's why, who messaged me last night? Someone messaged me last night. I did. Was it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like I said yesterday, I don't need to see the dog yeah. charge at the television yeah. to know she's got a problem. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need to see the dog chasing every shadow that moves to know that she's got a problem. Yeah. Right? I am going to see the problems very quickly. Yeah. And I see her getting worked up at the telly. And I'm thinking, well, if nobody addresses that, of course she's going to charge at the telly. Yeah. And then, of course, I'm just doing a, like basic things with the dogs and seeing that they're struggling. Like, obviously, you do what most dog owners do. Teach the dog to sit, but they don't, you don't teach them sit means sit. You teach the dog to go to the bed, but you don't teach them bed means bed. Yeah? So I'm seeing that, obviously, there's a lot missing. And we just start to fill in the pieces and they do great. And all she needed was just someone to come in and say, hey, stop being silly. It's just a television. They're not real dogs. Lay down, chill out. Because she chills, he chills, because he does. Monkey see, much. monkey do. Yeah. She acts in a right, he acts in a right. Yes. Ironically, the worst one with the telly so far today has actually been this I know. one. <laughs> I know. That is but again, unreal. the same rules apply. It doesn't matter who's doing it. The dogs are running on the telly. She's watching them, but look, her legs are at the side. She's not ready to pounce or anything like that. No magic. She can hear dad upstairs. <laughs> but again, bed. So if dad was to come down and she goes after the dad, no, bed. Because you sent her to her bed, so she has to stay there until you release them. Yeah, that would be nice actually, wouldn't it? Because time should... And it doesn't matter. If you send them to the bed because you're watching telly and you guys are out or something, you have to make sure they stay there. Yeah. And you all have to be on board with each other. Yeah, they got to have Brad, they, yeah. got to do So if Brad same. sends them to bed, Brad has to be the one that makes sure they stay in their bed. If Kim no, yeah. sends them to bed, has to make sure they stay there. Whoever sends them to there, it's very important that you make sure that, that you're the one that follows through with yeah. it. So the dogs only have to listen to everyone, yeah? No. So if your other half comes down and they run, and your other half goes, hey, like, her saying, no, bed. Yeah, Otherwise, what happens is you gave the dogs permission that as soon as something exciting comes into the room, they can, yeah. they can ignore, ignore you. So yeah. when they see a squirrel or a dog or something like that, they can ignore you because that's exciting too. Yeah. If you want them to say hello to your other half, then release them from their bed. That way, they stayed there, they ignored the distraction like you asked them to do, and the reward for listening to you was they get to go. Yeah. But if you ask them to do something, sit down, bed, they have to do it until you release them or give them further instructions. Yeah? But just use the one word, sit, don't keep, sit yeah, down, no. sit Because down. They're, just, they're waiting for that release word. In this case, it's break. When you say break, they're three dogs again. Yeah? A lot of people use the word okay. I used to use the word okay, like, okay, off you go. But it comes up too easily in everyday life. 
So, for instance, Brad, do you want a cup of tea? Okay. Oh, okay. Dogs yeah. have moved. Dogs have moved, yeah. yeah. You fancy yeah. dinner? Okay. Yeah. Dogs have moved. Is that what sound effects for the moving dogs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so you, you, it's just, yeah. So break is something that generally doesn't come up that often, and that's why we use it. The, social, the, word, the action behind the word is the same. It's just obviously when you say break, it's not. No. It's just for the dog, really. I can't it. Yeah, because she's getting stressed. She needs someone to come in, say, snap out stressed. of it. Yeah, and she's say, snap stressed. out of it, come to your bed, relax. It's go to your bed, but it's such an important command. I've got videos on teaching it, and I think it's one of the most important things you'll ever teach a dog. Because we put her in the office out of one shut the door, but the trouble is that is we want her in here with yeah, us. Yeah, but she's going to get stressed in the office as well, because obviously she doesn't... She needs to be with us, but doing as she's told, basically. I, I refuse to shut my dogs out. If people come around my house that don't like dogs, no, I'll send them to their bed. Yeah. Bed means bed, and as long as I send them to their bed, they won't get out of their bed until I release them. So my dogs will still be with us, but my guests who might not be that okay with dogs aren't going to be pestered by the dogs because they're not going to move from their yeah, bed. See, that's like Michelle, isn't it? She comes in and she's like, okay, yeah, I go. But because I teach them bed means bed and they know they go there and relax. Yeah. And I've done it last year at Christmas. My other half had her granddad round who's like in his 80s and he has good days and bad days. Some days he gets a bit lightheaded and dizzy. And he was coming around to us on Christmas. And of course, Rachel's mum rang us up when uh, Jack's not having a very good day. He you just be careful with the dogs. I was like, not a problem. Sent all the dogs to their bed. Then we were in their bed for three hours. And eventually Jack turned around and went, are they ever going to come out of the bed? I went, Jack, they're only in there because uh, they were not. Yeah, yeah. They're like, no, nah, don't worry, they're fine. I was like, all right then, so I let the dogs out of their bed. But it's about having that option. A lot of people shut their dogs out to make their life easier. But who, it doesn't. All you're doing is avoiding a problem. I would much rather have my dogs with me. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. So I've sent them to bed, so I could have a hundred people walk in here. Bed means bed. Yeah, that's what our main more is, isn't it? That's what we need. And it's just bed. being consistent. You know, you even like Paul O'Grady for the love of dogs. You're watching it now. <laughs> well, not watching it. Like we can watch it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Start, we can actually watch it. Start to enjoy it. Check your <laughs> dogs out. Hello, I can even get nice photos of them because they're not moving, barking at the telly and chasing shadows. <laughs> See, she's looking at it like a normal dog would look at it, isn't it? Like, look, look. My Rottweiler used to do it. Yeah. yeah. So I would too just watch the telly like normal dogs. My Rottweiler used to chase the telly. And of course I'm thinking, no, you do not break my big telly. Yeah. Yeah, you're a big dog, yeah. <laughs> well, the funniest thing is, she would like charge at the telly, hackles up and everything, then she'll start sniffing it. And when it, when it disappears, she'll go behind the telly. That's exactly right. She's looking for where they're gone, yeah. That's but it. I was like, this is dangerous. I, 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 I kind of like my TV. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so But again, I, I nipped it in the bud straight away. And now, 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 now she's all right. Uh, occasionally, if she's asleep and a horse appears on the telly, she'll have a little grumble. And I'll just tell her no, and that's enough. No more charging the telly, no more being erotic. It's net, mainly now she gets surprised if she's asleep and all of a sudden the shelf is arising it's there. Yeah. But then I'll just tell her no and that's enough now. And that, that's what will happen over time. Sometimes she'll like, put racing on or something and she'll start to do it. You'll just have to tell her no, repeat what you ask her to do and then all of a sudden that becomes a new way of behaving. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's not stupid but it ain't rocket science is it? It's... I tell people dog training is simply complicated. It's so simple, but yeah, it's quite complex. Yes, of course it is. Yeah, yeah. You've got to know I what mean, you're when it comes to behaviour and dealing with behaviours and finding a root, it can be very complex. But for the best part, it's so simple. Like a lot of when you're telling people, sometimes they look at you like thinking, "Am I really that silly? How did I not think of that?" Yeah. <laughs> and deep down, you probably know, but you just don't express it. Yeah, do no. It. So I mean, sometimes people just like uh -huh. they look at that. <laughs> it's the best my dad used to lay uh, that, didn't he? I loved him. Like that. <laughs> Sometimes people just need to be told what they already know. Yeah, yeah, it's a good, you want to slap them and go, look, this is what you got to do. You don't have bad dogs, you've just got dogs that are just lacking a little bit of direction. Stupid dogs. Oh, look, it's just that one's like, our last one we had was long-eared. Was it? Old English, oh, really? How cool.